different types of pictures like when one is uh, transparent transparent uh, images and uh, uh, not transparent pictures okay. now in this one uh, the tiny demon is uh, is not transparent okay now uh, look at the placement of the text i mean here yeah it, it's good i mean it, I'm, i mean at least uh, to me the text looks good it's all readable and everything but look at this this one is this particular uh, uh, image is transparent so now when you when you are able to use a transparent image it's uh, for the uh, presenter or for the slide uh, creator it is a, it's a lot more convenient uh, with respect to placing the text anywhere around the picture to create the maximum impact so if we are able to get a transparent image then it's it's good i mean we can actually make use of that uh, to increase the impact of the uh, content uh, now another thing is that the picture framing again this is uh, is uh, depending on the picture depending depending on the content that you are presenting to the uh, audience and uh, uh, like what kind of uh, picture that you are showing whether that picture has a lot of uh, you know noise in it so the framing also comes into picture now i mean if you are if this is a huge picture but now when you look at it i mean this looks little small when you just fill the frame with the entire picture then this gives a you know a bigger uh, parking lot uh, when you look at this this is like a, this looks to be a little small okay so this uh, framing also uh, as another aspect of uh, the pictures that uh, when you are using it in the presentation so this one now in the if we have to use text in the pictures where where should this text be used it's again uh, subjective but uh, you know depending on uh, you know where this object that you are presenting in the picture is uh, we can have it in many places so now uh, you we can have it on the left hand side we can have it in the you know on the right hand side or below the image but probably in this uh, this particular image these are all the only objects that you want to draw the attention to this uh, text then having the text near this object will make a better impact but again i mean we have to just play around i mean play around and then see which uh, image uh, and uh, where uh, this particular text looks good uh, depending on you know because each picture will be different and uh, uh, the, the placement of the text the readability and uh, the impact that we want to create we have to just play around i mean it probably would just take a, a couple of minutes for us to once when we just uh, uh, decided the text and then this, uh, decided the size and everything then you place it and then uh, find out which one looks better now if it is a color picture that you now we are using where you know there are so many people or say any anything a crowded picture uh, the color normally comes in uh, because you know, we don't have any control over uh, which color is being used or which color is shown in the, the picture okay so uh, so more colors in this crowded pictures will have more noise so typically what we can do is that we can actually reduce this uh, uh, color we can just change the, the temperature or uh, uh, there are um, in in the picture properties we can change it make it as a black and white and uh, then this looks little noise and then whatever uh, uh, content I mean whatever content that we want to highlight that can actually easily go on that will be kind of standing out the text that we want to highlight or I mean we can actually create some kind of uh, okay you want to just highlight this particular person they actually put an arrow into this uh, person's face that will be easier than uh, putting it in a colored uh, image now again the same thing on if you want to i mean you have to use this uh, color picture but you want to add the text on the picture um, now whichever text that you put in put in here it is going to be like some parts will not be readable so in here what we can do is that we can add a frame around on this particular uh, uh, text so that gives you more emphasis on the uh, the message that we are trying to convey now uh, one other aspect which is uh, related to tiny magic that i want to highlight here now the the uspa aspect right the unusual element uh, see now this picture uh, is uh, is a very usual picture right now when i, I had two choices i had uh, this choice and then the first one where you know the lot of sheep uh, they were standing uh, i mean this this many of us would have seen this picture and then you know uh, making a title or the for this particular title this picture could have been used but i thought like uh, uh, that sheep picture has a little bit of uh, 
unstated humor also in that so we had to look for a little bit of unusual uh, aspect in the picture also if we are using it in the uh, our presentation that will actually give uh, uh, the stickiness to the pictures that we use we are trying to convey uh, now uh, then okay so these three things like about uh, the color and font and pictures these are all the basic things because again uh, this is not like a very detailed uh, 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 you know presentation about like you know what will actually be uh, better and all those things but this are some of the basic things that we can do just to make our uh, slides uh, uh, definitely better than the average uh, slides.